This is a new piece of hardware for the Raspberry Pi and it's called a Berry Clip. And what it does, it fits on to the Raspberry Pi with the GPIO port here and it fits on so that you can control it via the Raspberry Pi using the programming language Python to control these six LEDs, this buzzer and this switch. One of the many great things about the Berry Clip is that it only costs £5 which is great for all the things you can do with it and you can get one of these berry clips from Mod My Pie, which I have a link in the description of this video should you wish to buy one. So when I heard about this berry clip I of course thought I needed to buy one. So when I did, I, it arrived at home really promptly and I was presented with a bag of components and so and the circuit board obviously. So I had to solder them all together as you can see on the underside of the board, my handiwork there. And in the end, as I said before, you're presented with a neat little board with six LEDs a buzzer and a button. So now I've put my berry clip together and soldered all the bits on I have to prepare my Raspberry Pi to work with it. So first of all I type MKDIR berry clip press enter then CD berry clip which will change into the new folder I've made called berry clip. Again press enter. Now I have to download all the programs that the amazing team at Raspberry Pi Spy have made for me. I type wget http colon slash slash and then a web address which is in the description below. Press enter and a load of code will come up. I now type sh install dot sh. More code will appear and now I'm ready for action. If I type now ls press enter, it's going to be all the files in the Berry Clip folder that I've created. I can see that there's nine with which are called Berry Clip underscore zero and then the number dot py. These are the programs that the team at Raspberry Pi Spy have made already and these consist of testing the LEDs, the buzzer, the switch and a few games put in there as well. If I now want to run one of those programs I simply type sudo python and then the name of the program I want to run. So I'm now going to do berry clip underscore one zero one dot py and I'll press enter and I will see on my berry clip that all the LEDs are now lit. That is the first program. To end the program I press control C and I'm back to my terminal window again. I wanted to show you, and this is berryclip underscore 08.py program, and this is a reaction time game. So once I've type, typed in sudo python berryclip underscore 08.py, I will be told to press enter to start the game. So I go to my berryclip and I press enter, and I'll see some lights flashing. And as soon as those lights stop flashing, I have to press the button, and it'll give me a time. So here we are. Sometimes it takes longer than others, it's random. So I'm just gotta whoop, there we are. So now you can see on the screen, my time was 449 milliseconds. And then if I want to play that again, press enter again, and my lights immediately start flashing. Finger poised on the buzzer button. And in a minute, I will, oh, there we are. 477 milliseconds, so I was faster on that last go. If I wanted to edit a program, I will simply type nano and then the name of the program I wish to change. So again, I'm going to do the first program. So I'm going to type that, then press enter, and I can now see I have the pre-written program by the Raspberry Pi Spy team. To end exit this, I'll press Control X. So if you watch this and you now want to create your own code, I'm afraid you're going to have to sit tight for a bit because I'm still working on that one and uh, there's a lot more to explain because it's quite complicated for those new people. Um, and below there is a couple of files, one of which is an awesome comic all about soldering, that's if you're a novice or you just wanted a refresher because I found that really useful. And there's also a document from the Raspberry Pi Spy team and that said pretty much all I've said but in a more technical language. Apart from that, good luck.